Welcome to the channel again, SML Collectors, and by SML I mean Sticky Monster Lab, if you're not aware, and these are their mini figures. Uh, that brand was established in 2007. So this is a uh, called Volume 1, the Walking Series, and it's a brand new case, still shrink wrapped and all that stuff. Uh, nothing on the side. Okay, so I guess let's open it from the front here. So I'm going to open these cases, uh, I mean not the cases, the boxes, and leave them in the case. So we'll see where the, which monster lies in which position. The secret one, this Father Mon, if I'm lucky I'll get it, but honestly I'm not that concerned about it because I already have one. Alright, let's take a look here. have a, a process now. I'm going to open just all of them and we'll see where they are and then I'm going to open up. I'm going to open up one carefully right now. The reason why I say carefully is I bought the uh, running series and that was just a complete train wreck. You might want to look up that video. And uh, broken parts. Uh, yeah, mostly a bunch of broken ones. Like four broken ones out of that case. So that was a big letdown. So here's the box by the way. Uh, here are the characters you can get, and they end up looking like that photograph I showed you. Standard box, tiny font, big font. Oh, there's no holograms. This is the first one I have uh, without holograms. Oh, there it is. It's on the bottom. Okay, some legalese. So, interesting. There's no desiccant. There's no uh, desiccant like in the running series. But this one has a sticker. So you don't actually have to open this, you know, if you don't want to. But since I don't have all of these, I'm going to open all of them, right? But I guess for now, we'll just, uh, we'll know where they sit, right? I'll just, uh, well, all right, again, I'm going to open one. You know, I recommend you open these carefully because in the running series, the horn on this guy broke. So luckily, there's no broken horn. So now they've also gone to a bag within bag to keep this stand from scratching the figure. It's quite interesting that he's carrying the phone and that's not somewhere else. So that's interesting. So the way they package it now, if there's a loose, well, I guess theoretically a loose piece could come out, come out of that hole. So, but looking at it, I don't see any broken pieces, so I'm not that concerned on this one. Okay, so naturally, be careful when you're cutting around the figure, and then the stand it has a uh, Sticky Monster Lab on it. But unfortunately, no date. They don't tell you how old these toys are or these figurines are. It's got two size hexes, so it's idiot proof. And I think the reason why they choose to do that is because this is supposed to be a shadow of the monster. That's what I suspect. I don't know for sure. So. I think that's why they want it to be that way. Because the bulk of his body is back here and his arms are here, so that's why it's smaller. It's actually smoked plastic, it's not opaque. Alright, so I'll put that aside for now. Alright, so we know that the Big Mon was in this first position. So let me just open up this one here and we'll just pull out the sticker and you don't have to watch me open it further. This thing's actually perforated. You could just put your thumb in there and uh, rip it open. So this one is a uh, walk sweep sweeper mon. Some guy that sweeps for a living. All right, let's try this. Yeah, see, it's not a very clean. It wants to tear in the middle, so it's not a very clean way to open up a box. So that's why I'm using a knife. If you're curious about that knife I bought it about AliExpress. It's a uh, titanium, so it'll never rust, and you can replace the blades. It takes these Ulfa blades. There it is, Ulfa blades. Alright, so this is Nerdy Mon. Cool, he's got a skateboard. The 
This is the Birdmon pulling a suitcase. There's actually two layers of cardboard there. I'm trying to always get underneath the second one when I cut to the back. This is a Dogman with a uh, folded box. All right, so let's get that. I'm gonna put all the stickers back at afterwards. Maybe I could actually cut it inside the case. In the uh, running series, all the boxes were in random orientation, but all these boxes seem to be facing forward. Redmon walking the Walkman. <laughs> walking the Walkman. I wonder if they planned that on purpose. This one is Sleepy Mon, just walking asleep. Sleepwalking. And then this is Birdmon. So I did not get the secret, which is fine because again, I, I bought it separately at an inflated price, of course. Okay. So that's uh, the layout of this particular case. If you bought a case yourself and you paid attention how they, what order they were, I'd be curious. I'm sure other viewers would be curious if they're laid out in this fashion. the video down because you'll see here this is a poor poor idea it had a ticket stuck to its wing and it broke off of course because these things are being thrown around by delivery guys so you can see where it broke off and there's a big white mark I think I can fix it though yeah I can crazy glue that back but that's not a good that's just a poor idea they should probably have a peg here in a small hole in the wing and then you just peg it in alright and then uh, you don't want to get the uh, stands mixed up ideally it would also maybe <coughs> say the monster and what stand belongs to it uh, this doesn't make sense here I think uh, it's gotta be this stand or no it has to be this stand but here, look at the big hex, and then the small. And here, it's having a hard time reaching the front foot. So let me try putting the first one. Nope, see, this is a poor stand. It, uh, the, the peg holes are wider than the pegs. Yeah, if I bend this more, I'm pretty sure a leg is gonna break. So that's kind of silly. I, I'm just going to put the back, the big one in. So that, that's not good. And then while I'm at it, these two also have these like black 
hockey puck looking things. This one did work okay. Both pegs went into sweeper mod. So this birdie mod had a nice thick piece of plastic, I guess, protecting its nose. But I don't understand the purpose of these. This, they're like poker chips. One is thin and the three are massively large. It just, it's got a face on one side and the good company, I think that's the manufacturer on the back side. But why? Are, are they going to come out with the backgammon set and start giving, giving us red ones? It's very strange. This one has the same thing. Right? So I'm not even going to open these because I don't really even, I don't understand the logic. If anyone understands what those are for, uh, please let me know. These are all in the order that they're in the case. Again, now this one only has three thick pucks. So, yeah. <laughs> it's really strange. Like, that's a big, that's a large amount of plastic. I would much rather have some other accessory. You know, maybe a, a, like a cap or something that can go on the person. Or, I don't know, just some other accessory. But a black puck is not an accessory. Let's see if this one fits. Yeah, this one works. All right. This one has two pucks in it. So it's really quite strange. This one you gotta be really careful cutting because you definitely don't want to cut that wire, right? So let's see if it fits on the pegs first. Yeah, it does. You can see the sock on this one's quite, it's got a lot of red overspray, so that's unfortunate. The headphones, yeah, some sticky tack will help that out. So uh, I'm going to put some poster sticky tack on that later. This one has four pucks. It's on the pegs. Yes, it should. Yep, okay, that's cool. <clears throat> this one, four pucks. This one has. Wait a second. What's going on? This is uh, another bird guy. But the stickers, I don't think they were identical, right? So I gotta put this the stickers back out after I get all these out. So I'm glad I actually didn't fast forward this video. I don't want to document all this stuff now. And this one is not broken, so that's nice. Although the other one was fixable. There's a little foam protecting it there. So, I guess I'll just put it on the stand. Let's see if this one fits the stand. Ah, uh, it's close. I think it will if I push it a little extra. Hmm. No, it's, it doesn't, I don't want to force it. I don't want to break the leg off. Again, it looks like. And this one fits. 
fits the stand. Okay. Good enough. This one has three pucks. Two thin ones and one thick one. fit the stand. Alright, so the very first one goes over here. Now, let me get those stickers back. Luckily, I put them in order. Alright, let's see. So, we got this guy. We got Sweepermon. We got Nerdymon. We got Birdmon. Dogmon. Oh, there were two Birdmons. All right, so that is a duplicate. I was I was afraid the figure didn't match the uh, sticker. Then that would be really weird, right? So, yeah, there's a duplicate in there. The question is now, did I get every figure in this photograph? So this photograph, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I see what's going on. The tenth slot may or may not be the secret person. I think it would just may may made more sense if the secret person was always the tenth slot. So it would give people motivation to buy the whole case. Don't you think? What, what do you guys think about that? Uh, all right, so. These, uh, still, please, someone leave a comment. What what the heck? These are really heavy. It's just uh, a big waste of plastic. All right. So let me get those stickers out of the way again. And then uh, we'll start looking at each individual one. Although I guess I'll get this broken one out of here. There's no need to review a broken figure. And I'll get all these pucks out of here. All right, let's see. You know what? Let's just go in the order of this photograph now. So we got Hoodie Mon, and yeah, he's it's pretty cool. This monster. Uh, these tassels are actually like uh, they could be Spectra fishing line if I had to guess, but they're woven. They're woven material. It's not plastic. You know, it's just stuff used to make or a really thick thread maybe I don't want to pull it because it'll probably never you know you'll never get it back through nothing on these guys move you know the arms and everything's glued glued in place but we have the sleepy eyes standard nose and the mouth there so black striped socks and his hands or her hands are in the uh, pockets in case he's in bulges the execution Seems pretty good, you know, it's almost seamless in a lot of places. So I think they use some filler in certain areas. And then this has to be a separate piece from the gray, so that's why there's such good color separation. So that one's really cool, for sure. Okay, next one, a Dogmon. I've never had a dog myself, but this is a cool figure for sure. So the box looks very much like a DHL uh, box. Keep dry, handle with care, this side up, and this is folded, but you see a little tape mark there, so that's kind of neat. And uh, the back side is blank, but that's fine. Unfortunately, a little contaminant or too much filler there. The ears are nicely blended in. The face is well printed. Uh, eh, yeah, that seems a little bit rough, 
but oh this is bad though look at this all this it's like crazy glue or something like that yeah unfortunately you can't get rid of that unless you repaint the thing but if you repaint the thing you'll never get that face back unless you tape off a circle and you make it like a two-toned dog or something like that but even if you tape off a circle the paint might seep under it so I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest doing that unless you're an expert modeler I'm just gonna have to live with that that's unfortunate okay nerdy mon looks very similar to like sausage mon uh, he's very bright orange almost like a construction orange cool skateboard with yellow wheels and silver trucks and also there's molded uh, bolt details but no silver blue socks on this one uh, and then we have a white cap with a different type of orange brim it's almost like a possibly a fluorescent orange but it's obviously different from the body so if you like skating I can never skateboard myself but I think it's cool I appreciate skateboarding I've seen, uh, you know, skateboarders in the pipe and stuff doing their tricks. Okay, Redmon. Ugh, let me get this thing. So, unfortunately, the seam isn't the greatest. It's a little overlapping there. Um, blue socks. And, yeah, again, look at that sock. It's just uh, covered with red overspray. Hopefully the camera's picking it up, but it looks very mottled. Very clean here. Not clean here. Very clean on both sides here, so something went wrong. Also, under this light, it looks like this arm is transparent, or it's not quite the same red as the body. It's like they didn't paint this enough. It's almost like the this one's a little darker, I think, than that one, but this one almost looks like a different color. Uh, again, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Nicely printed face, though, on that one. And then the, the highlight, I think, is this Walkman. You young kids might not remember what a Walkman is. But uh, I do. Tape. It plays tape cassettes. <laughs> of course, you might not know what a tape cassette is. Anyways, look it up. That's what the internet, internet's for. So it says Walk Mon, like monster. And that's got the uh, big giant controls, SML. Buttons are black and stuff. And then it's actually got a face printed on it. Unfortunately, it's not a smooth surface. It looks kind of bad. And then the back is okay. And then you got this really fine wire going up to the headphones. And so, with some poster board putty, which I, I'll do right now, hold on here, I use this gray stuff called the uh, Potafix Pro, and this will hold three kilos against the wall, so that's, it, but it never leaves a mark, it doesn't ruin paint from my experience, and uh, you can always remove it, it's like some sort of like putty made of plastic I think. So I'm putting some on the, mu the muffs here, of course. So we'll get the headphones on them. I think they have to go this direction. Got to put a little air in between. So that's good. And then I'm also going to mount the actual walking Walkman. And I'll just put some on the rear legs, I guess. Well, you know what? I'm going to put them on both. So this is going to be a little unsightly, you know. But I don't want to crazy glue this guy down. I want him to show up though, or her, this, or it. So I think that's cool. Yeah, very neat. All right, Yellow Mon is next. Uh, unfortunately, the face is not perfect. It's a little bit smeared, or well, the surface itself. Something went wrong with the yellow, and then there's a little bit of staining going on there. Oh, thankfully. I knocked the first one off. The dental pick of cleanliness. No, that next second one won't come off. But eating SMLs, chips or snacks, nicely print. Eh, actually, it's not printed so well. This side's printed well, but this side like fades. Orange uh, striped socks, some contaminants in the paint, but really good seam. It's almost, it's almost invisible. Sorry if I lost focus. I wasn't looking through the camera. Uh, yeah, this is the best seam work yet. There you can see it, but it's almost invisible in a lot of areas. So very cool. Alright, so this big one is nice. In my running series, this horn totally broke off and I can't find it anywhere in my place. 
So that's unfortunate. It is risky that they would have this in here. I think that should have been bagged separately. But there actually is a monster it's talking to, a red one. I wonder if this will come out in the future, a red monster. Maybe that's like the wife or something, or the girlfriend, or vice versa. Maybe this is a female, but I don't know many females that wear socks like that. But I can see, think of many 1970s dudes wearing that. See, Mark, uh, it's okay. The horns, yeah, they're okay. The phone itself is pretty nice. You know, it looks like an iPhone or a modern phone. Okay, uh, yeah, nothing majorly wrong with this guy, so I'm happy there. It's quite a big fit here. So, yeah, Birdbon is taking a vacation. Birdbon has a passport, yeah, and some tickets inside. It's like a light, uh, aqua green, I guess. Mint. It's actually like a mint color. That's definitely green. And then, uh, you know, the suitcase is looking nice. Got the four roller wheels there. But, and then this is glued in place. It's really risky that they would deliver it this way. I think they should pe make people put this together and bag these separately. It's a really risky packaging strategy these guys do. And that's why I think a lot of my running series were damaged. Okay, but this is a cool one. I like it a lot. All right, so Sweepermon. Yeah, this is the least anticipated one myself. But and now that I look at it, it's got a lot of cool bits. First, this the hard hat looks nice, and the M City is printed nicely. The hard hat is not painted though; it's just raw white plastic. Uh, the face, nicely printed. Unfortunately, the break between the yellow skin and this blue collar is not. You can see the white peeping through right there. So it's not a separate piece. I mean, it, it would have been nicer if it was. Yeah, you can actually see the blue is overlapping the white and the yellow. So it's not aligned properly. One yellow stripe here on the pants. Uh, there's also a faint stripe on the bottom here. Maybe that's like a belt. And like there's a pocket here put a little containment there and then it's got uh, the squeegee it would have been nice if the this was black though I guess there's blue rubber though out there in the world so it's believable and then this pail again it's really risky that they would send it this way I feel like these bits should have been bagged separately and you put the pail in yourself this pail is actually trapped by the fingers you can't get it out this is totally trapped so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people get this and this handle is broken because yeah any pressure anyways uh, luckily mine's not broken and it's nice that it actually is you know dangling you could actually put something in there right I guess you could put more soapy water in there so that turned out actually better than I thought it would only real thing that bothers me is that right there on the face not enough yellow Okay, so the last one is uh, Sleepy Mon. Uh, unfortunately, there's a big chunk of plastic missing here. It looks like he has eczema or whatever. The uh, bubble, though, coming out of the nose is nicely done. Yeah. And then the face has some drooling coming out of the mouth and obviously sleepy eyes. Uh, it's like a really light baby blue. And the seam of the main body is really nice. Pretty good. Oh, except for that side. The arms less so. Nicely uh, done purple socks though. So, eh, it's all right. That's a big, big eyesore though, right there. I mean, if that was somewhere else, that would be okay. But right in the face, that's not great. All right. Well, that's it here for today. So this series is definitely a lot, lot better than the running series as far as the quality control goes. Nothing majorly wrong, you know, some minor blemishes and stuff like that. Uh, and luckily that other one birdie is, is fixable. So if I could ever give feedback to this, whoever makes these things, uh, to SML, since they're the ones making the decisions, but the actual manufacturer is uh, that black puck thing, a good company. If you're actually producing these, you need to package this stuff in a safer fashion so things don't break. Alright, with that said, if anyone has a favorite today, 
I think for me, it actually might be this guy, the, the hoodie person. I really like those real tassels. They're cool. The graphic is really retro and cool. Uh, tight running, though, is, of course, the walking Walkman. It's just that I've seen this kind of figure before in the other series, in the Subway series. So it's not nothing new to me. But these two, these two characters are quite new to me. So, but this one's the coolest. All right, please leave a comment if you like a certain one over the other. As yeah, so I was taking a picture of these, I forgot to actually show the Father Mon, the secret figure. I did review this earlier. Oh, yeah. For a second, I thought that was a hole, but that's just the printing of his nose. There's a video on, you know, with this Father Mon. So it's a sad video, actually. You might want to check out the YouTube channel that uh, Sticky Monster Lab has up. A lot of short videos there. Okay, so that is the complete set. I just had to do it in two different purchases. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye.